Hey everybody, Don Peterson here uh, at the Swing Factor Golf Studio just north of Atlanta. Um, I wanted to share a little story with you. When I was on the mini tours down in Florida, um, I went out to Bay Hill several times and watched the players out there. I remember on one occasion I was down on the far end of the range and uh, I was getting ready to leave because uh, there, it wasn't a very good viewing and all of a sudden I saw Seve Ballesteros walking towards me. So I thought, well, I'm going to stick around here and watch him hit some balls for a minute. So he comes walking down. Well, two players down from where he was coming, he was going to come down and set up right here. And about two players down, there was a guy named Mark Amira. And Mark was standing there hitting little short wedge shots. And I think he it was probably a 58 or 60 degree wedge. And he was, he was taking it back to just about knee high and pitching some balls out there about 35, 40 yards or something. And uh, there was a little green that was kind of off to the right side of the tee, and he was kind of pitching that direction. So everyone else was kind of hitting this direction. O'Mara was kind of turned sideways, just pitching out there. And I, I remember it was kind of interesting because, you know, Savi Ballesteros was known as this genius with the short game. And, you know, it's like he, he was watching. I watched, I watched him as he walked by Mark O'Mara, and he was watching kind of intently. He saw these shots he was hitting. And I think he was pretty impressed with what O'Mara was doing. And, and so much so that he walked down and the caddy set the bag down. And I remember several, he re went over there and he got a glove out and he's standing there and he put the glove on and he's just sitting there staring at O'Mara hitting these shots. And all of a sudden, just out of the blue, he just kind of said something kind of Spanish and he said, and he walked down to, uh, he walked down to O'Mara and I saw them, they kind of got engaged in a conversation. And I wasn't really close enough to hear but I was watching intently because, like I said, I was kind of intrigued that Ballesteros, who's this you know, wedge master, is curious as to what Mark O'Mara was doing. So I saw O'Mara start explaining to uh, Ballesteros. It's almost like Ballesteros asking him, how are you hitting that shot? And, and so O'Mara starts going into talking about the wedge. And instead of going, you know, talking about something like this, he showed the wedge go low to the ground and then come back, back to the inside, kind of like this. And it's like low inside, and it never really went up very much. He was showing Seve that he took it back low and then turned it to the inside like this without raising it up. And I, and I just thought that was kind of, you know, I didn't know what they were saying. I couldn't hear everything, but I watched the demonstration, and it's like, you know, it's kind of dumbfounding. Why would you try to take a club back like that? Well, years later now, it's like I've, I've kind of learned how to do this pronation, supination thing. I'm a big Ho Hogan disciple. And as I get a weaker grip, and one of the things that I used to do is I used to pitch these balls, and I think I've done a, I've done a video on short pitch shots showing a little bit of how I do this, but this is a little bit more in depth. Uh, this technique is, is kind of, uh, I hate to say it's high tech because it might be simpler. It's just, it's not taught. Let me just put it to you that way. Uh, most people don't know how to teach some of, the, some of these things, and, and so I'm trying to explain it uh, maybe in a more simple way to, to understand uh, version. But um, I, I used to just walk down the line and pitch balls off of the tee. And one of the things that I noticed is that sometimes when I just got real wristy, it was a lot easier to make real solid contact. Um, and I think uh, that's where a lot of amateurs go wrong is they have the arms working too much. And if you can learn to to break your wrist correctly and, and uh, keep your arms from moving too much, and then you can hit more crisp shots and, and actually hit it more with your core. And I think that's what this is all about. So if, if you watch what O'Mara did or what, what, what they were trying to show, it's, it's kind of like this. And I, when I do it, I feel like I'm opening the face extreme to the inside, but I'm also keeping the club head low. And it, it does, it kind of comes in low to the ground. It doesn't come up very much. It comes in and it kind of turns in like this. And it, to me, it looks like the face just goes really wide open back in here. And then from there, I just kind of feel like I just do this with my hips. So this is what it kind of looks and feels like. And I'm just going to turn it. And notice my right elbow is way in front of me. And if you slowed this down and looked at this shot, it's like when I'm making it com contact, my elbows are way up, my hands are way up in front. Okay, so this is, this is, the, this is the action that I feel. Open face, right elbow in front. Fan, fan that face wide open like that, and then just pitch it with your right knee, basically. And you can see how the ball pops right up in the air, um, and I scrape it. It's kind of like a scrape off of the ground. So you don't have to worry about going up and down and digging. You don't have to worry about blading it. Um, it's, it's kind of a, a unique action. So I'm trying to show it to some of you so you can kind of play around and see if you can get the feeling. But Again, the feeling is that my club is staying under the forearms. And this was another story about uh, Mark O'Mara, actually. And uh, he was taking lessons from Hank Haney, and I heard that 
Hank Haney, you know, was a big Hogan disciple. And uh, I heard that one time Mark O'Meara had a chance to meet Van Hogan. And he made a comment to uh, Hogan about, you know, now that Hank's explaining the swing to me, he says, I have this feeling like instead of, you know, like the club is coming from underneath my forearms. And I guess Hogan looked at him with a dead stare and said, where did you think it was supposed to be? <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's kind of what we're learning here on this little pitch shot. It's like most people are picking the club up and it's like the club head is on the top side of the forearms. And then when you try to push down, you know, who knows where it's going to end up. It could end up in the middle of the ball and blading it or in the middle of the turf chunking it. So uh, if you can learn to swing the club what feels like under your forearms, and that's where this opening the face comes in. It's like if you want to have any wrist hinge, you kind of have to let the face open, and then you just keep it under your forearms, and you just hit these, these little pitch shots that are really almost simple. And then you can actually learn to carry this into your full swing, and that's what I've learned to do. And it's, and it's a much more... Um, again, Hogan-like swing. So if I take this same action where I feel like I'm hinging the face wide open and I'm keeping it down underneath my forearms down here, I'm not going up. I feel like I'm keeping it underneath the forearms down there. And then I turn, turn that into a, a little mini backswing. I can start building on that and making that bigger and bigger swing. And, uh, and I get positive results from, from the whole thing. So. Try this uh, at home. Again, it's kind of an interesting little, little feeling. It's like you have to let the club hinge under your forearms, but it's going wide open. You can see how open the face is getting back here. And the more open you get it, and the, and the feeling of it being tucked inside underneath your forearms, the, you know, the better you can hit the shot. You just clip it right off the turf. And again, this is where backswing comes from. You don't get backswing from hitting down or you backspin on the ball from hitting down on it, you get backspin from the ball staying on the face and rolling up that face. And so the longer it stays on the face, the more backspin it comes off with, okay? So um, try this unique um, pitching style and tell me what you think. Um, I've got uh, uh, youtube.com slash MrBBGolf is my YouTube channel, and uh, uh, my website is swingfactory.com. So uh, for more tips, come back and see me again.